you're gonna like this. Check this out, watch. Now you see it, don't take your eyes off of it, and now you don't. Seriously, it's not a camera trick. In a blink of an eye, this ink disappeared because of the science behind this extraordinary pen. I'm Steve Spangler, and this is a friction pen. If you've ever tried to erase ink using a normal pen and eraser, uh-oh, ugh. You might have accidentally rubbed a hole in the paper. Why? Because a normal eraser can sometimes take off the top layer of paper. But a Pilot Friction Pen is different. You can erase with no problem at all. Look at that. Because the secret is this. Heat. That's why they call this special ink thermochromic or thermal sensitive ink. It all relies on temperature change. It's a special kind of ink that changes color based on temperature. And I wanna show you some creative, innovative ways you can teach STEM and strengthen critical thinking skills using these amazing writing tools. So how hot does the ink have to get to disappear? Here it is, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 60 degrees Celsius. If the temperature of the ink gets above that point, it turns colorless, or it looks like it disappears. When you rub your hands together, that's friction. You create heat. In a similar way, when you take that eraser and rub it on the piece of paper, you're generating heat. But who would have ever thought that the heat that you generate using an eraser could be in excess of 140 degrees? Let's dive a little deeper into the science. We know that friction pens work because of a thermal sensitive ink, but what is going on at the molecular level? Let's look. Here's the chemistry. Now the chemistry is pretty complicated, but the scientists at Pilot have helped us think about it in terms of A, B, and C. See the beakers that we have here? A being the color pigment, B being the color activating agent, and C, the transparency agent. All right, when you normally get your pen, A and B, those molecules are already hooked together. It looks something like this. That's what you would normally get. There's your pen, and that's how you would normally write with it. Everything would be just fine. But, now watch this. What if you use temperature to break these two bonds? And you break the two bonds like this, A and B would break apart these covalent bonds, and that allows B to go over and hook with C. Watch what happens. That's the transparency agent. Look at this. So now, through heat, by raising it above 140 degrees, it becomes colorless. Remember, it didn't disappear. It's still there, but B and C are hooked together. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could somehow, what if you could get B to work its way back over and hook with A? How would you do that? If you could get B to break apart from C and come back over and hook up with A. Oh it would go back to its original color. And the way that you do that, ladies and gentlemen, is with temperature. The scientists tell us if you could get it below 14 degrees Fahrenheit, that's minus 10 degrees Celsius, you can trip it back to that color and everything would come back. Wait just a second. You mean to tell me that now you see it, now you don't message that disappeared when we put it over the hot plate, that message could come back if you simply got it cold? The freezer's cold. Let's try it. Now the freezer here is at zero degrees Fahrenheit. That's minus 18 degrees Celsius. It's definitely within the range. Remember it has to be below 14 degrees, so the freezer is perfect. We just set it right here and let it go to work. So what did we learn? Get that ink below 14 degrees Fahrenheit and the image comes back. That's really good to know, and that's some pretty cool science. Well, now that we know how the pens work, we understand the science behind what we're seeing, now we can roll up our sleeves and do some testing, right? We can set up some comparisons to do some real STEM challenges, right? A core to STEM and everything that we believe, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity, the science of the friction pen is gonna help us think a little bit differently as we set up the question and to use a little of our creativity as well. In this particular case, we're testing heat sources that you can see. Um, and 
And we know that all these heat sources aren't available to you, so here are some suggestions, but I'm sure that you're gonna come up with some different ones as well. All right, a hot plate. We already know because we tested the hot plate. No problem at all. So that image disappears, of course, with no problem at all. But what about something like a hair dryer? We've got that. Here's what I found. If you take the hair dryer and just turn it on and do it on the countertop, you don't get as good of a reaction as if you pick it up because when it's on the table, actually the countertop is robbing away some of that heat energy. So hold it in your hand like this and there you go. It works. But look at that. You can see how my hand underneath there is pulling away some of that heat energy. So as I move it to a different spot, there you go. So what's underneath can actually pull away some of that energy. That's very, very interesting. You can kind of see it right there with the paper. What about this? Uh, this is a curling iron or a hair straightener. This is great if you have a big message. So watch this. I'm just gonna put it over here. Look at that. It's almost like you're wiping it clean. Wow, that works really well. So you can imagine uh, making the entire thing disappear very, very quickly. Um, you've seen sometimes, probably, a flame. And if you're not gonna use a flame in class, you can see if the flame works. What's important with this is I'm holding it underneath, not touching it, but just holding it underneath like this. Let's see if it disappears. Very careful with that if you're going to use the flame. But what about a tea kettle? All right. So with this here, the outside of the tea kettle is warm. So we can simply write on the piece of paper and then hold it up against the tea kettle. Yeah, that's enough to make it disappear. So just the outside of the tea kettle. But what about the actual steam itself that's coming off. Let's see if the steam works. So here we go, here's our comparison here. Let's see if the steam works. Look at that. Fantastic, so that works as well. Wait just a second, what if you're gonna make a hot beverage? Try this. All right, so here's our mug. Why don't we do this? Why don't we just take the pen that we've been using and write on the outside of the mug, right? Mm. T-E-S-T. -E There's our test right there. Let's see if this works. All right, take a look. Anything at all? Anything at all? Anything at all? Maybe it's gonna take some time for, oh, there it goes. Look at this, and look at that. The image disappears because that heat was transferred from the boiling water through that ceramic and completely disappears. I know what you're thinking. What if you were to let this cool down, take the mug and put it in the freezer, would the message come back? Now this is STEM, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. Now you know why I love these friction pens from Pilot, because it helps us bring together all of those elements and share some of our most creative ideas. I know you've got some, start testing.